What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Earlier today we received a brand new update. It was titled 1.42. This was around 2.2 gigabytes. I did cover all the new content that came in with this update. There's a lot of features, new patch notes, new content, things like that, that usually come in with these updates. The problem is there is a bad side to this update and that is what it did. It actually completely broke the game. There's many different issues that ended up happening as a result and there are some things that you definitely need to be aware about and I'm just going to cover everything that you need to know about that in regards to today's video. I wasn't even planning on making this video, but I just wanted to keep you guys aware of this. The very first thing is there was major server issues. This means that loading into the game, you would probably lose connection. You wouldn't even be able to connect to the servers. Once you were able to, the game would lag. It would cause crashing. Your game would probably shut off, turn off, just major problems with the stability. If you guys recall, the same exact problem actually ended up happening during the season two reloaded update. When that went live, it actually completely broke the game. At one point, skill-based matchmaking was even turned off and it just wasn't registering because everyone was reset to level one. The same thing happened today. Everyone was pretty much reset. If you ended up jumping onto the game later that day, I believe your blueprints were removed. Any loadouts that you had made and saved, those were reset. Your operator skin was set to the default skin. I loaded up and I saw I was on the default operator. On top of that, there was just a bunch of other issues going on. Call of Duty did acknowledge and address these and they posted this a couple hours ago. They said, we've deployed an update to address the following issues that arose today. Restored account data following a temporary service outage so now it should be good to go your levels are fine and nothing is permanent when it comes to these types of things then they said kill streaks are once again usable while using a controller this was also an issue if you played warzone you were unable to call in kill streaks i believe only people on keyboard or mouse are able to do that it was on at the time and you weren't able to use them but they did a playlist of the you restarted your app and you were good to go and they did fix that they said they also resolved hitching that could occur after killing an enemy on rebirth island upon startup players will not now be taken to COD HQ rather than the multiplayer menu and menus no longer unexpectedly close while viewing the after action report claiming battle pass rewards or purchasing a bundle and one of the craziest things about this update is apparently players have been falsely banned I'm not entirely sure how true this is maybe people are actually cheating and they're getting rightfully banned but as of right now a lot of people are complaining over on Twitter even Warzone meta he tweeted out saying Warzone permanent ban a bunch of players are allegedly getting falsely banned in Warzone and Modern Warfare Fair 3 and this is happening in the midst of the ongoing server issue and he's asking if anyone else has gotten this issue then on top of that engine only which is actually a cheat provider ended up tweeting saying the cod update anti-cheat received some new detections for various cheats when the driver is running those scans the user mode part of the anti-cheat detects the scan done by the kernel driver as cheating behavior resulting in innocent players getting banned now honestly you can't take the word for it because this is literally one of the biggest cheating companies you can't really take their word for it but there was other people that tweeted for example forward he said don't play call of duty right now genuinely everyone is getting perma banned at the moment and then he makes a little thread he says if your account has been affected you can submit an appeal for now i'm sure they'll see it and we'll get an official a statement from call of duty and ricochet devs over the last couple days ricochet has announced that they've banned over 27 000 thousand accounts just over the weekend alone and many of these players who were hit were for using unlock tools so maybe it wasn't you that was cheating someone must have gotten on their account used an unlock tool for unreleased camos operators things like that they started detecting that with their systems and they have started banning these players now the thing is apparently today there was a huge influx of the amount of players that were getting banned with today's update maybe the ricochet now detects a little bit better and people were banned rightfully so or maybe there is actually a false ban going on let me know down in the comments have some of you guys who haven't been cheating never done anything like that got yourself banned i've seen people who are on console mention that they've never gotten an unlock tool they've never gotten unreleased camos they're not even that high of a level and then they got false banned so i'm just letting you guys know out there if you want to try to avoid this issue if it is an actual issue just stay away from playing the game at the moment and apparently what engine owning is saying is that the ricochet anti-cheat is actually so broken that in simple terms the anti-cheat is detecting the anti cheat as a sort of a cheat and is basically self-reporting itself and banning players falsely because of that we'll know a little bit more as the days go on but as of right now the majority of issues that have happened with today's update have been resolved they've been doing consistent small playlist updates if you look over at the official cod updates twitter they've said a couple of things for example we are investigating issue preventing some players from using kill streaks they then followed up saying a service outage that prevented progress from being tracked in various 
modes and features, including events, challenges, battle pass, SR, access to specific modes like that is recovering. And then they followed up with another tweet said they've deployed a fix. This has restored functionality to the loadouts. And then they said they're working on other issues that originated from the service outage. They have been very vocal about all of the different issues. They've given us updates on them. They've told us they're investigating and working on them. The one thing that they haven't mentioned anything on so far is in regards to the anti-cheat. If it's falsely banning players, if there's really a problem with it, I hope they do give us a statement just to clarify if there's actually a problem or maybe I think as more people start talking about it and as it starts picking up a little bit more on Twitter, they might acknowledge it, whether it's true or false. They'll let us know about that. And once we get a little bit more updated information, I got you guys covered. There's also other glitches that I noticed that they haven't talked about either. For example, in Warzone, there's currently an issue where it pulls out the pistol when you hit the water, but you're unable to swap weapons. You're unable to use the weapons in your loadout and you're stuck using that pistol up until you actually get knocked. And then even so, there were some other glitches where you're stuck using the same exact weapon. You can't swap it and you can't really do anything about it until you drop your weapons. And there's just a bunch of different bugs. I'm not sure if they started from this update or if they were here before, but these are some things that are currently not being talked about as well when it comes with COD updates. If there's any other issues that you guys have noticed that you haven't seen Call of Duty mention, they haven't covered in the patch notes or any of the bug fixes, Comment it down below. Let me know. Maybe we could try to talk about it and get them aware of these types of things. We also did receive a brand new update for Warzone Mobile. It looks like this one is actually a little bit better than the one that we got, but it says graphics reduce overall memory usage for Android devices to reduce crashes, fix an issue causing graphical corruption and missing textures for some devices with Adren GPUs. Then they fixed an issue where the streaming indicator persisted on the main screen and caused graphical corruption on some GPUs and gameplay fixed an issue that locked weapons and attachments. Anyways, in terms of what we've gotten with today's update and the issues, they have fixed most of them. Maybe some of them will require another update to come on out and pretty much fix everything, especially with the anti-cheat. If there is a problem with that, you could probably expect that we may get an update maybe tomorrow or the day after. We are going to receive a content update that's going to be bringing in a new set of weekly challenges, which I did talk about and cover in the last video. We also talked about the brand new upcoming event called the Blaze Up event. There's going to be challenges, different rewards, a new game mode, LTM, and so many different features that you can expect. So uh, tomorrow should be a pretty good day when it comes to Call of Duty. A lot of different store updates that are coming out as well, bringing in the Stony Sloth Operator skin and also bringing Cheech and Chong. If you want the details on that new update as well as everything that we've covered, be sure to check out the last couple of videos that I posted. I'll have them linked down in the description. Anyways, that's pretty much all that I got for you guys in today's video. If you found it helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Expect more videos, especially tomorrow with that new content update we're going to cover that a full guide on how to complete the new challenges and the rewards and everything else like that but it's been a butcher to hopefully i'll be seeing you guys again peace